Tag Z with episode 7 of our Fire Emblem 7 Let's Play. Two sevens, let's hope that's a lucky one. Now, last episode, we had two new units join us. Sarah, who's a cleric and has healing magic, which will be extremely useful so we can save money on bullinaries later on if we need to. And Urk, who has magic. His magic is ranged or close up, but he can't really take a hit, and neither can Sarah, so we have to protect them pretty well, keep them off the front lines. We also found out, story-wise, that Lord Lundgren of Caitlyn is getting extremely desperate for the, for the sake of the crown. Um, he's upset that we have survived and managed to cross the border into Isia, which is where Caitlyn is. And he's upset that his brother, the actual Marquis, is still not dead from all the poison he's been giving him. He even went to the point to say to one of his soldiers to hold his brother down and pour the poison down his throat if you need it, so. It's getting pretty desperate, and I kind of like clicked off the emulator, that's why it stopped. But, all that out of the way, let's get on to chapter 6, Blood of Pride. At long last, Gwen arrives in the land of her mother's birth. I see it as a federation of territories, each ruled by a powerful marquee. Now Lynn takes her leave of those territories, Erica, <coughs> and sets out to meet her grandfather, the Marquis of Caelan. However, the Marquis's brother, Wondrin, hungers to rule Caelan. He is preparing a deadly welcome for Lynn, who threatens, who stands to threaten his grasp for power. Well, pleasant sounding gentleman. In case we were able to tell by then. <laughs> what city is this? This? This is Erica. After Ostia is the second biggest city in Lycia. The second biggest? It does seem awfully busy. By the way, where's Kent? He said he was going to head to the castle, but... Ah, here he comes now. Well, Lady Lindis, let us proceed to the castle. We've prepared supplies for us. The Marquis has agreed to aid our journey to Caelan. He's going to help us? Yes. Erica and Kaelin have enjoyed a sturdy friendship for many years. Once I informed the Marquis of our plight, he agreed to lend us his strength. Looks like we've got a smooth road ahead. <clears throat> if we could pick up some soldiers, the road to Kaelin would be that much safer. I'm truly sorry for the hardships you've suffered so far. Don't be silly. You're so capable, Kent. Kent? Oh, um, so are you, Saint. Of course I am. The castle awaits. Does look busy with all the NPCs about. This is terrible. The castle is burning. What? What did you say? What's happening? Smoke from the castle. Hey, what are those men doing? Oh yeah, welcome party. Who are you? You. You're Lindus, aren't you? Ah. What do you? No questions. Prepare yourself. Hey. And oh, we got another unit. Looks like he's on our side. Comes out with a crit right out of the gate. I like him already. Or her. Could be her. I just say him because I know already. Uh, ah! <laughs> what? An arrow? Da 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 da. Who are. Milady Lindis! Are you alright? I'm fine. He... This man saved me. May I ask your name? Da 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 da. Wait! Why did you help me? I thought it was the Cain Plains woman who was being attacked. I was mistaken. No, you are right. I am from Cain. I'm Lynn, the daughter of the Lorca chieftain. Lorca? There were survivors? Yes. You should leave at once. The blaze has started in the castle and it's spreading. Don't be foolish and waste the life I just saved. You're from the castle? What's happening? How, is, how severe is the fire? Is the Marquis safe? The castle is under attack and the Marquis has been accosted. The men who attacked you was probably one of the brothers. As captain of the castle guard, it is my duty to rescue the Marquis. I see. Milady? Why? Oh, she just said that she should help. I accidentally skipped over that one. Itchy button finger, I guess. Those brigands are after me. If they're attacking the castle, it's because of me. So I must help if I can. Sounds like you're involved somehow. Let's go. You accept our aid? Da, 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 da. 
I'm Raph of the Kutoba. Our tribes may be different, but I will not abandon a woman of this game. Thank you, Raph. A thousand blessings upon you, and a thousand curses upon our enemy. Come. And he's running off. You! What are you doing in my house? Peace, I mean no danger to you. Your home offers a good view of the battle outside. Look, I'll pay you for the privilege, please. Like a vulture waiting for the spoils, eh? Terrible. Pay up! I'll be hiding down below, so don't bother me. I wouldn't dream of it. Now, which side has the most to offer? Once the marquee is safe, my men can move in. Perhaps the secret passageway. Secret passageway? An underground tunnel leading to the front. There, will, there are triggers in the barracks that will open the tunnel. Head through the passage to the throne room and rescue the marquee. Once that's done, you can drag the enemy from the castle. Release those triggers, my men and I can handle the rest. There are three triggers, though. All three need to be released or the entrance won't open. The doors to the barracks are locked. The enemies are within. If we don't get inside and finish them, we're stuck. So, opening those doors is our first objective. Now, just that scroll that popped up was basically telling us what their conversation just was. Open the gates. What shall we do, son? We don't have any keys with us. Perhaps some of the marauders are carrying. So now they're just telling us that we can check status to see what exactly we need to do. But first, we're going to have Gwen chase off after this green unit, because as we learned from the last one, we can sometimes get green units to join us. So let's visit the Red House. Hey you, can I talk to you? Who are you? I'm Matthew, a specialist in acquisitions of all kinds. Would you like to buy my services? I have no need for it. Thief. Really? Then how do you plan on opening the barrack doors? What? How did you know about Bullseye? Da, 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 da. Don't be mad. Hire me. For you, I'll even lower my normal rate. I do need those doors open. Okay, you're hired. Why did you choose to ally yourself with me? Hmm? Oh, I was watching the battle from above. Your group looked like a lot more fun than the dead guy. Pretty simple, really. You're so odd. It's time to get to work. Knuckle crack, knuckle crack. <laughs> so now they're just telling us that thieves can open doors with the picks that they carry. Pardon your son. I'm Matthew. So if we check him, see it's a lock pick. Fifteen uses, so we can get fifteen doors or chests open. Open doors. We get the first first of the switches that we have to get. First gate and his main hallway. That takes care of the first one. Two more to go. So we're work. Actually, let's have Dorcas go to get this door, to get this house first. Visit it. And this guy is just telling us that it's going to be hard to get in through the doors without a key, which he then gives us because he's a generous old coot. Now these houses with the yellow roofs, we don't get anything if we go there. It's just like the little houses when we got the mannequin tea, they just give us advice or hints about the level. So hopefully I don't have to get this guy. Thankfully he does. So it would have been really awkward for Florina to try to take him out. She's going to get it, which is highly convenient. I, like to move. I always like to try to have my long range units attack first, just for the sake of finishing them. Finishing whatever enemy is there. It doesn't always happen the way I like, but I do my best. Plus, once we move in the melee units, it keeps our ranged units safe. We'll move Sarah there just so she's closer. Now he's just saying, since we're here, we might as well open the chest. And we can consider it an advance on our reward if we get them now. He assumes we're going to be rewarded. Got an angelic rope. Hey, this is an angelic rope. This is good for those on the less robust side. Like me, for example. Magic items like this increase one's abilities, but can only be used once. Give them to the people who need them most. But don't fret too much about it, or you'll never use them. Simply holding on to a useful item is no one any good. So now I was just saying that the angelic rope increases the hit points of one character. In this case, we increase it by seven. Now, things like that, I like to 
give to my lords just because, you know, if the lords die, the level's over. The game's over. So I have to make my lords as, as strong as possible. Dorcas over here to help get that door open. Will's not going to be able to reach, so we can not worry about him. Can't hear to attack first. Actually, he didn't finish. So, that will move Sane here to be able to help. Since Dorcas will give the key to Sane. Er, not Sane, to Kent. Sane and Kent, oh, they're all the same character. Sarah right there. Close to her guys, but not so close that she can be attacked. Dorcas. Trade the door key. Kent will open it. So you can see there's the other switch. Kent uh, wait there to finish out. Brad. Uh, let's save Brad. We don't get short bows much. No. We can steal the door key from this guy if we want. But he'll just attack us, so we might as well attack first and get some damage in. Hopefully we'll get a crit and be able to finish him. If not, we'll just have Wrath come here and finish it. And now we have the door key. It levels for this one, which I think has another chest in it. Which will be useful. Now, this switch here is going to open up this wall. Remember correctly, that's where the boss is for this one, so let's move in some units closer to try to try to help to take them out. Okay, now that most of the enemies are dead, we can risk moving Sarah closer. Stop. He makes the mistake of attacking Kent. Move in. Activate the switch. And that's where our last trigger is underneath the boss. Let's have Matthew come over here and open the door. And now we have to hit the switches, but we want to get this chest before we do that. So let's just try to weaken up all the all the bosses. Well, all the bosses. The one boss and this little archer band here. That way we have an easier time of getting to that. We go to the swim lines. The swim lines isn't as heavy, so that's why it gets the two attacks, just because it's wider and it helps increase the speed. Now we can have Wrath not come here and weaken this gentleman. But Lind is at her cadre. When did you arrive? No matter, I shall deal with you. From this distance, I think not. We didn't get any crits, but that's okay. If we move up Lind and attack with the Manikati, this gentleman will be quite finished. Get a crit there, even though the Manicant has a pretty high crit chance. It's not always gonna happen. Lord of the And Lynn leveled up and got halfway to her next level, which is convenient. We're really setting her out ahead of everyone, so it'll be nice. Pretty sure she is by far our highest level eight or six. So not by far, but by a few levels. Oh, Rath is level seven. I like it when our new team members are similar levels to us. Well, now, Matthew, get this last chest before finishing the level. An armor slayer. An armor slayer! That's just what I said. <laughs> just as the name suggests, armor slayers are useful against knights in armor. You wanna know something? You need to give weapons to those who can wield them. You don't say, Matthew. Captain Obvious here. Otherwise, it's just a waste of a perfectly good weapon. Take this fleet blade. I mean, I can use it, but I'm not too strong, and I just hate being counterattacked. Anyway, think strategically about who you give weapons to. I'm just saying, certain weapons can be used. Now, as we can see, he can indeed use it, because it's not grayed out. And it only takes a sword level D to use it, which is his sword level. But if we go over to his stats, his strength is pretty pitiful, so it doesn't do a whole lot. not do a whole lot for we give to almost anyone else that can use swords, of course. Like Quinn or Kent would be our best bet for that. Since Lynn already has her Manicati, there's no need to give her another sword that's good against armored units. So this is the final one. We 
should be good to go. And there's the hidden passageway. Good work. We'll let Wrath take over from here. Ah, Wrath, you've done well. What a performance. Sir, if you have praise, it should be to this room. Hmm? Who are you? My name is Lindus. I'm pleased to see you well. I hope it's you. You're Marquis K. Lewis. Believe us, Wrath. I would speak to this girl. Do you know the identity of those responsible for this uproar? I believe it is the work of my granduncle, Lundry. That's exactly right, which means my castle has been damaged in your family's petty inheritance dispute. My, my apologies. When I heard that Lady Madeline's daughter was in trouble, I thought to lend my assistance. I find I've changed my mind. I withdraw my offer. Oh, wow. Rude. More here? gave me your word, my lord. Your name is Kent, is it not? You failed to inform me of one most vital detail. What, what do you mean? This girl does resemble me, but I didn't expect her to be so tainted with the blood of Sakei. What? Wow, we've got a racist on her hands. Don't you fear the Marquis of Kalu would be troubled to see this nomadic mongrel? You! Zane, hold! My apologies, my lord Marquis. Hmm. Your man is poorly disciplined. Marquis Ervin, please. You are gracious with your aid. Yes. I hear Marquis Kaelin is ill and abed. I question whether he will survive to meet this girl. In which case, his brother Lundgren will claim his title. And I clearly wish to avoid trouble with the coming Marquis. You scheming Zane! I understand. Kent, Zane... We will take our leave of course. Milady Lindis, we... I am proud of this decay blood that runs through my veins. I will not escape, except aid from one who disparages my heritage. I'm sure I can say disparage, alright, but once I get to the easy words, it's difficult. That was well done, Milady. The Marquis is a lout. Don't worry about anything. We're all here for you. Isn't that so, Kent? I beg your forgiveness. Why are you apologizing, Kent? I've been so concerned with seeing you to Kaelin, I failed to take your feelings into account. And is that it? Trouble yourself no more. You've put my safety above all else. I've seen that. Hold your head up and be proud. My lady witness. Uh, nope, no nope, more story. Bah! Arrogant child. If she had shed but a single tear, I would have granted her request. The Lycian nobles will never understand those prideful savages. Are those your true feelings toward the nomads of Sakai, my lord? What? Oh, Wrath, I didn't see you there. My comments should not reflect on you. You are my captain. I am proud of your service. Of course, as long as we bend our knee to you, you care not where we're from. But when an equal comes from my lands, what conceit? Wrath, how can you speak to me like that? I have treated you well, have I not? And I've paid you well, I've treated you better than your kind deserves. You'll never understand. My service ends here. Go, Wrath. No, no more working for a racist. We could use you much more. The Marquis of Air. He said my grandfather was ill. We must hurry to Kaelin. As we approach Kaelin, one of the obstacles would be much more difficult to overcome. However, I have vowed to see you through to the end, my lady. I'm counting on you, Kent. I'm with you, too. Thank you, Sam. Son, thank you for standing at my side all. It's because of you that I... I will persevere. Persevere. <laughs> You'll never break my spirit. Ooh, go on. Da -da 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 -da. Brad, what is it? What are you... I overheard the Marquis talking to himself. What if the Lorca, proud daughter of the Skate? I would join you. I would add my strength to yours. Really? And this... I want you to take it. This is gold. It's too much. I can't accept it. I have no need for it, and if it will help you, but I cannot take back something once offered. Wrath, I thank you. Cool. So, 5,000? Alright. So, shopping spree. And with that, chapter 6, episode 7 comes to a close. 
that was a rather intense one, if I say so myself. But we got a couple new units, which is it's always good to build our army. So with that, I will see you all in the next one. Bye.